I'm Yazua Ho with The Gamer, and here's how to complete Chapter 9 of Fire Emblem Engage. I hope you brought your winter jacket because in this chapter, we're going to be battling in the snow. You'll be fighting Ivy again, but this time you won't have a ballista to help you out. There's also the issue of a certain green unit in the middle of the map, Jade, an armored axe fighter. Of course, while no one can compare to Louis, leaving Jade alone can cause problems we'll get to later. There is only one sword user on this map, Kagetsu. In other words, lance fighters aren't really needed, and it's time for your sword and axe users to shine. You will be dividing your army into groups of two, so make sure each group has a healer. Diamond is an absolute necessity, not only because of how strong he is overall, but because he serves a special purpose. Two archers are highly recommended as they will take out the flying units effectively, especially Ivy. In terms of organization, put your axe fighters along the top and sword fighters at the bottom, like the healers have one archer in each group. With half of your army above and the other half below, your main goal is simply making your way towards Ivy while dealing with the enemies. Jade will be dealing with two axe fighters to varying degrees of success, so have Diamant reach and talk to her immediately. Even if you don't care about Jade, once she kills the axe fighters, she confidently decides to face Ivy who wields magic. The problem with this is after killing Jade, Ivy will then go after your units, and you do not want to fight her unprepared. Alongside Kagetsu is Zelkov, and they will rush to the nearest tower, summoning corrupted units. Zelkov spawns two thieves at the bottom, while Kagetsu summons two swordsmen at the top. Tanky units like Jade or Louis can deal with Zelkov and his corrupted, while spells and hard hits can deal with Kagetsu. There are several emblem pools, so feel free to unleash everything on him. Although there's armored units positioned in the corners of the map, you can skip them and deal with Ivy immediately. However, the mage in the north drops spirit dust, while the mage in the south drops the L Surge spell. The martial master near Ivy also drops the steel hand art. When dealing with Ivy, she will go after who is most vulnerable in her large attack range, so avoid putting her armored units within that space. Have your archers hang back just close enough to fire shots at Ivy, but not in the range of her attacks. If you want to draw Ivy out, place a unit with the highest resistance at the furthest tip of her attack range. Have the rest of your army around that unit, ready to swoop in and take out both Ivy and her army. Use archers and engage attacks to quickly finish off Ivy. Your martial masters or key adepts can help by breaking her first to prevent counterattacks. The map's rewards aren't anything special and there's no new activity to do at the Somniel. But if you donated 5,000 gold to Brody already, you can adopt the rabbit at least. Yay? For more engaged guides and tips, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching.